So one thing I've been hearing a lot about is how tired we are of politics in our media. Whether it's The Walking Dead or Star Wars, most stories have an underlying belief system or even political message. But I think that what people are talking about is that they are tired of the activism in our media. So let's get into a discussion on what sources and how it's being done. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, make sure you ring that notification bell, and make sure to share this with everyone you know to help us beat that massive YouTube algorithm. Hey, before we get started with the conversation, guys, don't forget to crack your favorite cold one or pour yourself your favorite glass of whatever, because this is a drink with crazy. And as always, if you guys are going to listen to us, you're going to need something to drink to do it. We always sound better when you do. It's true. We do sound better We're when... We're not playing music, so... Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for checking out the drink with crazy. And today we are talking about all of this messaging that seems to be in our movies, our our games, our our TV shows, and we're kind of wondering where escapism went. Indeed. I mean, oh, it's... You good over there? I got sunglasses on my head. All I don't really need sunglasses in here. No. No. I can't even with you right now. You never see Blues Brothers? Yeah, but you more look you look more like a hungover Chef Kruger. Oh, <laughs> oh god. Uh, um. Anyway, no, it's uh, I don't get it, man. It seems like you know these days. It seems like you can't have a story or write a character or do anything. It's got to be a message. You've got to you know push your beliefs about something. You can't just tell a story anymore. Well, that's the thing is like. A lot of people say, "Oh, keep my politics out of." No, it's activism. It's, it's it's activism. It's not it's not politics because I mean, you know, one could argue that although a lot of people may not have liked it, but I mean, at least the politics in the Star Wars prequels well, they, they, were well. Weren't I mean, bad. also Star, Star Wars has always been uh, fairly black and white. Good guy does this, you know. Bad guy does that, you know. Right. Only a Sith deals in absolutes. But um, well, I mean, you know, Game of Thrones, an entirely political. Oh, show. very political. But you know, the there's a difference, and I think what people are trying to argue against. And I said this in the intro is um, they're they're tired of people trying to be activists with their entertainment, right? Like, you know, you get somebody that makes you know a movie, mm-hmm. and it can no longer be you know Captain Marvel is actually a really good example of this is that they didn't write Captain Marvel to be a character they wrote her to be a you know, they, they they wrote her to to fit certain certain details indeed and, and, the and whole, they kind of forgot about her character and i mean and the whole I, movie comes across as just kind of a big middle finger to dudes in a lot of well, ways because and a lot of, there were there was there were some elements of that but more to the point is they were really trying to make a point about about women being strong Oh, but yeah, they forgot yeah, to write. But well, the problem is, and I got nothing. I have n- n- no issues against that at all. Actually, again, you and I, we we talk about our favorite female characters in media. Wonder all the time. Woman was supposed to be a great movie. Uh, well, I mean, look at. Yeah. I mean, I still like Avatar Korra. Yeah. And a lot indeed. of people say that she's a Mary Sue, and I, I think people are missing that. I think people just don't. It, like. uh, no, the reason Mary but, Sue. But anyway, is but anyway, but it, but look frowned upon us because it is overused. But, but you know, going to Captain Marvel, it's just this idea. That's They're like, okay, we're gonna write the movie with this idea. Yes, but they forget to write how the character fulfills that idea. There's like, and, there's this idea, and then the character is just going to act according to that, and they don't write right. write those ideas with how the character would respond to them. They no. write the idea and then make the character respond to it. Indeed, you know, you're supposed to write the character and then how they respond to these other elements. Yes, the this idea, is and they this is the scenario. That. This is my character, and then you fill in the details based on how the character would respond to the sort of. Yeah, and they just they don't. And that's why the story can often evolve or change from the first draft is because you go, wait, no, my character wouldn't do this, and so you change it. And well, now look at Last of Us Two, which that's going as to... of the time of this recording, Last of Us Two is not out yet. It will be not out yet. here in about two weeks. Two weeks. Um, but as of this recording, um, I'm really concerned with the Last of Us Two well, if again... they are, if they're. If they're looking to do some sort of activism and messaging, because the idea is war begets war. That yeah, that's and, what the and, and but but you don't do the war begets war by potentially you know taking out 
the uh, fan favorites. I, I be careful uh, with the, my wording here because no, Naughty because Dog we, is... we, we don't want any spoilers for those of you who care about that. We obviously don't know anything for certain yet, and also only what Sony I've... is on a little bit of a warpath with that. Well, um, and that's why we got to be careful with what we say in but reference. But no, no, to that. there are certain events if you believe the leaks that have me very concerned, and it comes across as we're doing we're doing this because we believe this needs better represented or this needs to you know be a thing and it's guys just write characters i don't care just write characters. i mean you can have you can have ideas but you need to have these ideas in service of the characters and i think that's where the the a lot of the the this idea of activism gets picked up on is because they have the characters service the activism not the activism service the characters and, and that's really the you know and, and, and honestly if they did it the other way around you know, it would it'd probably be, be everybody would go. Huh, and also, you know? there's also just got to be a little bit of honesty when it comes to what your target audience is. Yeah, if your target audience is mainstream, right? You know, just the main gut of yeah. the, the vast majority of people who will, you know, buy entertainment products. You got to, you know, think about who you're trying to sell your story to, and if you've got a very niche sort of audience. Mm -hmm. Then you know, be honest with yourself and write that story, but don't try and shoehorn it in for the sake of pushing your message. Well, or on you, the other you, you side, just of it, both sides or getting an IP, which we've known many places to do this. Oh yeah, you become the new president of whatever, and an IP that has its tropes, it has its plot lines, it has its way that the that that world works, and then you just come in and you just do whatever you want to do. You you interrupt <coughs> character. <Just. laughs> you interrupt character mm. flow. <laughs> I actually derailed him. I am so sorry. <laughs> you interrupt character flow. You interrupt Clearly. the rules of the universe. You yes. interrupt all this stuff. And honestly, if you want to do any sort of activism or any sort of messaging, do it. Well, Don't do it with something that I'm a fan of. Uh, because, Or if you're going to well, inject your it story. in there... Again, service it to what already exists. So most of these people don't do that. Oh, no, here's they the just, thing. They shoehorn it in. I and want to escape from the world that I'm in. When I'm playing video games, when I'm watching a movie, I want to sit down and I don't want to think about the the horrible news that's on Twitter or that's on or that's all over YouTube or that's or, all over my Facebook feed. I don't want to think about or that that's crap. That's just on the usual broadcast news. I yeah, mean, uh, uh, no, and and that's here's to be all they want to do anymore. And that doesn't mean that you have to you know whitewash or sugarcoat anything because as you already mentioned, Game of Thrones was massively successful, and the whole point of that show up to like season six was the politics of it. Mm -hmm. And so it's not. Politics. It's the, or at least political. It, it's hijacking. It's it's it's. And no, because well, they're mean, not doing it with original IPs. Name, well, well, name an original IP that got successful using some of the ideas that we're talking about. Talking about this activist poli political mindset. Well, the, the thing is, is that honestly, The Last of Us it actually incorporates some of what they're trying to do. It's just, it's treated as natural. It's just treated as part of the character's identity, and not a lot of uh, fanfare is made about it. Okay, so, like so, what, so what are you talking about with The Last of Us? Um, Ellie being a lesbian. Oh, yeah. The, oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The junkyard dude being gay. Oh, yeah, nobody gave a shit. You know why? Yeah. Because, and nobody cared, because when you treat people as just normal, everybody goes, yeah, they're normal. Yeah, they're because, normal. And that was the thing that The Last of Us did so well, is they did introduce these characters in such a way that... that it, and it stayed true to the character. The fact that Ellie wasn't straight didn't matter it just still felt like ellie yeah and so you know but now if you're trying to shoehorn a bunch of stuff into the sequel and also the other thing is uh shock value are you just you know trying to one up well, you know and characters and they have such a well, ready-made tagline for this advocacy thing already is that you have a you know homosexual female lead for the you're you're advocacy is already done just by the character you set well, up and, and it, uh, you don't have to create controversy about it see and, and that's one thing that i that uh, that i that i don't get is that the, the problem with all this activism is they want to treat um they want to treat you know lgbtq members like they're unusual and they're trying to make them you know usual in society and that's wrong because guess what they're just usual people 
Oh, indeed. They live their and lives differently than everybody else. And I think that that's the problem is it turns into this preachy idea. Well, that and then some of the other, you know, some of the other politics when it gets into a lot of the deeper, you know, the SJW style politics. Oh, yeah, when yeah, it, When yeah. it goes into, you just go so far down the rabbit hole. But the problem is, is that when you're taking something and you go, you don't like this thing, I'm going to hijack one of your IPs. I'm going to change everything about it. Even if there were things in there that were already inclusive enough and they're going to force this down your throats, it turns, it turns. And from, also it gets very accusatory. It does. It, it gets because it basically says if you're playing this and you don't already fall lock lockstep in line with what we want, you are just you're you are the problem. And I'm sorry, I I disagree with you on a, maybe some, uh, some fiscal ideas, maybe some other ideas, but pe let people live, live and yeah, not live. That's always been. Live. And, and, and the problem is, is that this activist mentality does well, not believe in that. And they believe the game. It's if the piece of entertainment itself, you know, I mean. The Last Jedi very much told people to let the past die. That don't worry about, you know, don't like. Well, the see, and that was another thing too. A lot of people said they had a lot of the SJW stuff in the start. No, they didn't. No, no, they, they didn't. No, they tried I, to use this this postmodernist weird ass take on on well, an a, IP no, that was already popular. Well, no, it is a very postmodernist take because it's rejecting all the heroes of old. That that's postmodernism in its nutshell. Yeah. And so, yeah, no, it is postmodernist, and the fact that it goes all those values, all those ideals that we had in the prequels and the OT, are defunct. It's not SJW. It's just postmodern. Yeah, it's just postmodern. And when you when you have any sort of postmodern activist message that the the characters are being forced into, yes, that's when you start having a problem. If you're going to have those ideas, but the characters, but the the messaging is in service of the characters, not the characters are in service of the messaging. Yeah. That's the problem. It's just... And, and it's again, a priority and, and I And, I, and, I, and I, I get... I'm sorry. I just want to watch games since I don't want to be preached to anymore, dude. I'm tired of it. Oh, so I'm tired I. of being preached to, dude. And some shows that I love watching, there have been... They've tried to do stuff through... Um, they've tried doing stuff in through uh, the Arrowverse, Supernatural, um, a few other shows that I watch... And you can see these episodes. Now, it's not all the time. Right. But it is enough of the time that you're just like, really, guys? Because it's just it's so on the nose. You can tell oh, the is. director they had for that episode or the writers that they had for that episode. And you're just like, really? people, I don't want to be preached to. I don't watch this show to be preached to. I watch this show to watch Arrow shoot people or the Flash oh, yeah, light because, speed or time and, speed. And I hate to say it. At the far end of the spectrum, though, you, uh, you turn what is supposed to be entertainment into propaganda. No different than uh, well, yeah, and that's and no different than when uh, you know the Looney Tunes were going to Germany and all that. Yeah, I, that that's a thing, guys. Yeah, that, oh yeah. I'm not going to go too specific as YouTube, but uh, yeah, no, no. But when the you, no, and that's that. No, like I said, I, I did just. I'm so sick of it, dude. I want. I just want my escapism back. I'm tired, and I think here's where it comes down to for me. Interesting stories with interesting characters that behave, you know. Believably amongst themselves and with the world well, that and is established. Well, and there has to be things from our world in those stories. Otherwise, it's not believable. Oh, there indeed. has to be those things. But when it's some sort of a messaging that's just railroaded down And, and it's throat, agree with me or you're trash. So I just, yeah. Can I just have my escapism back, please? Can I just... Can I stop reading article after article every single day about how these people... Can I turn the phone off, dude? Huh? Can I turn the phone off? But, uh... <laughs> what do you mean? You read article after article. You always put yeah. the phone away. Yeah, I could. Yeah. I could. Yeah. But no, but, I, uh, but, but, you, but you see them too. Because you well, and I, I read too. a lot of the same articles. Because you well, and I, I do too. Well, also, when it's about an IP I'm interested in, like Star Wars, The Last of Us, Us Battlefield. Know. I mean, you know, that got to the point where it was almost historically revisionist to get its message across. See, and that's the thing. That's the idea here too, is that when... They say instead of entertaining the people, we need to educate the people. I have issues with that. Oh, pylon's about to die. <laughs> Don't kill the pylon. Don't you kill the pylon. You require additional pylons. You require additional pylons. You must construct additional pylons. There. Now the yeah. StarCraft community won't hate me. All right. They got it right. No, no, no. Uh, they're still going to hate you because they said it wrong the first time. I know. Even I know. though you were actually in like like the Master League or the Ultra Super High League. Yeah, I was, I was uh, Master League. Yeah. Not anymore, though. I'm still diamond. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but, but um, um, no, it's uh, but, but you, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm so sick of it, dude. I, I, 
Because that's the thing is they don't want to entertain. People they want to anymore. educate you. Yeah. And if you turn your story. Well, that's the thing. Is I, I, Hollywood doesn't think they're entertainers anymore. They think they're educators. Well, I know, and this was this big thing, and this was a you know actually you know Ubisoft did something right. I know, shocker. Um, but they just told their story with Far Cry Five, and it's about a um, cult in uh, Montana, and they're you know what you they're very Manson-y. Yeah. Or, oh, yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. And but you know a lot of the game uh, publications out there were very upset with Far Cry Five because it didn't go far enough as a condemnation of conservative politics. But the, why should they, that even matter? Why are we trying? Because that's they they wanted some sort of game where it was just an attack on the current administration and conservative politics in general and just how wrong these people are. So go shoot them. With but here's the thing: is they wouldn't have stood for it had it been the other had way it been around. the other way around. No, because but that's the problem: is that if you're is in charge, like uh, like I mean, if that's you're why gonna, it's now, see. Here's the thing: here's the thing: is that when you have movies and stuff that kind of rag on both sides equally, uh huh. I like that. Well, because it's because. Shows, because here's the thing is, I obviously re- agree with one side. You obviously agree with one side. Right. And when they attack both sides, you go, oh, hey, I am a douchebag South there. Like, South Park. Yeah, no, South, South Park, Park doesn't. Because <laughs> South Park, uh, they just, they South Park just throws shade everywhere. Yeah. And they do. And South Park has had some profound episodes. Oh, yeah. But that's the thing is when they just throw shade everywhere, you go, Hi, yeah, yeah, I can yeah, see. Yeah. And here's the thing is when they throw, when they in the same breath are throwing shade both ways, you can look at yourself and go, Wow, I can kind of see how that would make me a douchebag. Yeah, the other right, side. yeah, and 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 I like messaging like that. I do not like the preaching. Well, because it's not a message. It's sitting there going, "Here's you, like here's them, and here's shade at both." And you sit there and you go, mm. "But no." And the fact that you know Far Cry was supposed to be this condemnation of one p- political you know belief system, and you know. It's this idea of we have to educate, we have to condemn, we have to attack, we have to convince. And I'm sitting there going, why do we have to be an advocate? Why do we have to sit there and try and push this very one-sided message through? Because at that point, it's just propaganda again. See, and that's, and that's one thing. That I, about I don't, how this one side... I mean, side... we believe for years propaganda bad. Right? That's yeah. a big thing in America, propaganda bad. Yes, tell we me the truth. Tell me the truth. And by doing that, you're not, you're, you're not telling people... And again... They don't view themselves as entertainers anymore. They view themselves as educators. Yeah. They, they, that, I mean, look at, I mean, they, in, they got into the college campuses. Yeah. And I think that that's what's happening here is that Hollywood and game developers and, uh, and tech companies, they do not view themselves as entertainers anymore or service providers. They view themselves as educators. They are trying to take over the role of the universities yeah. anymore. And they're, and I, hell, they're, paying universities they're donating to universities they're doing all this stuff i mean you want to talk about lobbying in washington oh, let's God, talk about yeah. lobbying in the universities but and like i said they i think that's the biggest problem here is that they they don't want to entertain anymore well some do some, some, some do, do and some, some are do. very good at it yes they don't want to entertain anymore they want to they they want to educate and i don't and the fact of the matter is i don't like their education no not, not in all regards in some regards they're right but you know there, there is a balance there, and you brought it up. What you know, South Park is obviously satirical, right? Yes. It throws shade at both sides in a humorous light. Yeah. But you can do the same thing in a serious light. Yeah. In a political light, in a whatever, you can still throw shade at both sides. And you know, um, one of the big criticisms I saw, and I'm getting a little bit close to the end, so I'll try and make this quick. But um, oh wow, yeah. But um, I remember when The Witcher Three came out, there was a lot of shade being thrown at it because of its lack of uh, racial inclusion. And I'm sitting there going, okay, it's a game set in Poland made by Polish developers, and you're expecting a, in the middle of the medieval, you know, times, yeah. you're really expecting a ton of, and they do have other races in there. They're just not a well, huge and the player problem, in the story. The, the problem is... Because of how much time it takes to travel, and there's a lot of stories, but the thing is, and this is the salient point, is, is that they still tackle the racial issue. They just do it through a different lens. They go through it with a... Uh, well, yeah, but, but you're not allowed to do that. Dwarves. It has to be this lens. It has to be our reality. I know. You're and not they, allowed... They did go after the issue, but they were so blinded by the trying to be inclusive that they failed to see that they were actually still addressing the issue. See, and that's the problem, is you're not allowed to address world issues through narrative storytelling that yeah. everybody can get on board with. You have to address only world issues with what's happening here in our world today, around us, every day on the news. If you are not addressing it, like CNN or Fox News, don't put it in your movie. Don't put it in your game. Yeah. And it's crap. And I hate it. And it bothers me. Why? 
Why can't we address issues of diversity well, that's or whatever? The whole point but of fiction by using, to... but by using orcs and elves and 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 men and half men and and hot. Why can't we? Why or can't we? Aliens or aliens? Why? Which actually some shows that Star have done. Trek. Star Trek. Star Trek was awesome. Yeah, I have not seen a lot of Star Trek. I'm not a Trekkie. What I have seen of Star Trek, mm -hmm. I do like. It was just never enough to draw me in to become a super right. fan, right? But I've seen... I, I, trust me, dude. It's Star Trek. You can't go through life yeah, and not yeah. have watched some episodes of Star Trek. But that's the so. problem. Yeah, right? But you have... <laughs> I don't understand why we cannot address these issues in a way that makes you think about reality, but in a fictional world. Right. Because, again, it, unless they're punching you in the face with it, no, they don't, because then it's no longer addressing it through a, you know, addressing the real world and you know, critiquing issues through a fictional lens. It's now just taking what's in the real world and beating you over the head with it and saying, "Agree with me." I don't get it. I don't like it. I hate activism in our media. Yes. I can't stand it. It's it's everywhere. It's. I hope it doesn't destroy the Last of Us too. I really hope not. But no, this activism has got to stop. Stop trying to be an activist with your entertainment. If you want to get a message across, do it in a way that'll actually reach people. Is the second you start telling them you're wrong and you need to be you 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 need to agree with me to be correct, then you've lost them. You've lost the argument. I'm sorry. I was trying really hard to do that without swearing. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> no, I, I I get a little heated on topics yeah. like this too. But no, but thank you guys so much uh, for checking this out and let us know what you guys think down uh, below about Hollywood activism and just how it's just it's 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 ruining escapism. You know, what, part of the reason I love watching old Star Wars, Harry Potter. Lord of the Rings, The Walking Dead. Well, some of The Walking Dead, early the, walking dead. up to a certain yeah. early Walking Dead, Supernatural, Game of Thrones before season know, six, Avatar. <laughs> you know all these shows. All these shows. The reason I love watching all these shows is because it takes you out of the real world and it puts you in another place for just a short amount of time. And lately, it doesn't seem like people want to get out of the real world anymore. It's just if you you got to live here 100 percent of the time, no matter what. And honestly, I'm tired of it. I am too. Please stop trying to preach to me through your media. Yeah, so. Or at least be honest about it so I know what I do and don't want to buy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So let us know what you guys think down in the comments below. And thank you so much for checking out A Drink With Crazy. We will see you all on the next episode. Cheers. Thank you for watching A Drink With Crazy. If you liked the conversation, make sure to click here to see more.